What are we going through right now? We as a species are no longer a good evolutionary match for the environment that we've created. And what environment did we create? We created an environment that has technology in it. And technology and progress go hand in hand. For a civilization to recede or to collapse, it needs to stop growing. But civilizational growth, technology, progress all work together. So is it inevitable? So I had to ask myself a question. But what is tech? Like, where does it begin? Are you going to like cite the Industrial Revolution? Are you going to talk about the development of guns or swords? Where do you go? And I went all the way back and I was thinking, no, I think, I think you have to look at Neanderthals and our uh, cousins in the animal kingdom. If you're using a tool to get something done, that is tech. If you wear an animal skin to stay a little bit warmer, that's tech. Better tech progress must be if the animal skin doesn't just keep you warm, it keeps you dry. And if it goes over more of your body and is more comfortable, that's technological progress. Then you accelerate that over a longer timeline and you have iPhones, you have people dopamine addicted to social media. It's inevitable and it's part of growth. It's part of progress. It's part of a civilizational and economic expanse that we've fallen prey to. We've been dreaming of the cities of light for literally millennia a place where there's always warmth, always shelter, always safety from your enemies, food, calories, an abundance of choice, an abundance of lifestyles, an abundance of identities, an abundance of different ways of dressing, of thinking, of being pure liberal options. And we have never been more miserable. And I think it must be biological. It must be because we're just not evolved to live with this much stuff and this much technology and this many options. Our evolutionary match is probably for something that is a little bit more restricted than this. I really don't know what the answer is to that. Do we deliberately set technology back? Do we deliberately put civilization back so that we can continue to exist? I wouldn't want to make that decision.